All right, here I go with the next project. I'm still editing the uh, the Eiffel Tower. It's been giving me lots of problems getting that edited because I was trying something different. But I think I'm on the final run. And while that video is compiling and exporting, I'm going to start this video. This is going to be this cross. I, uh, I've done a lot of crosses. I like doing crosses. I don't get a lot of viewers on crosses. I, they're not real popular. But that's all right. I'm going to do this one anyway because I really like it. It's a, uh, it's a layered cross. I've got two pieces of wood stacked here. What we're going to do here is I'm going to cut the entire outline. we will cut these, these out and cut the entire outline with these stacked together. That'll give me the backing board and then these uh, layers that will match uh, on the external lines anyway. And then these, these holes he's got marked here. This is a Patrick Spielman out of the same book uh, I've been working out of. Uh, I'll put the title of that down in the description. But uh, these are to be drilled out, a 3 8 inch hole. And then you take some uh, uh, hole plugs, some button plugs, uh, and glue in those. I've got some 3 8 one, three eight inch ones coming. They'll be here tomorrow. But uh, you glue those in there. And then you take these, if you, if you separate the patterns, you, you cut these sections out of the top layer, which is an eighth inch, and then glue it all back together. And then I've also got to, uh, I have a video where I did this and as a test. I do two different things. I may, I may find those and link to them if you want to see them. Uh, on one, I burned where you had the cross here. and others, I actually cut it with a sharp chisel. I like the chisel one. It gives it a, a depth where those cross, those uh, lines cross over. So it gives it a, the, the correct look. And as far as finishing this, I'm still up in the air on how to finish it. In his book, he recommended a textured stone finish. So I thought that's a good idea. And I went and looked and I found what I wanted and the color I wanted was one bottle, one spray bottle was $30. I said, well, I don't think I'm going to spend $30 just to finish this project that I'm probably not going to sell for any point you're approaching that price. If I do sell it, I may keep this for myself and give it as a gift. The crosses always work great as gifts. They don't sell well and people don't view the videos very much. But I'm still going to do this because I like it. So let me get started. I'll drill these holes. And I'll have to drill the entry holes for this. And then I'll get it over the saw and cut the, the backer and the front to, out to match. And then I'll get it get the front piece off and cut all these little overlays that go on the top. So I'll get me a number five blade in the, in the saw and I'll get me a 3H drill bit and I'll get to work on it. So got these 12 holes drilled for the little plugs, hole plugs that I'm going to use. They're going to have a bead rounded top on them. And now I'm going to cut these four internal cuts, and then I'll cut the outside. That'll give me the backing part. And then I'll have to take this, take it off, leave the pattern on this top part, and drill some entry holes, and cut out these other sections.
Okay, so I've got it cut out. Uh, the only thing I didn't anticipate was how fragile this piece would get as I was going. It's just an eighth inch and it's not a real dense wood. So I had to be wary of that, make sure I didn't break anything. Of course, gluing it to this backing, I probably could have fixed it okay without a problem. But anyway, what I've done is I've got it all lined out. I've cleaned all the fuzzies off of it. I've taken these pieces, these little knots, as you call them. I don't know if you can see that. And where he had the lines across, I still got a little bit of sanding to do there, but uh, I've, I've carved those. I took, my, took a blade, a knife, and I made me a wall right there, and then I used a chisel to carve that down. I did that on all of these, where you had the little lines drawn. Kind of give it a 3D effect. So now the next step is to start gluing. You know, I'm going to glue this outline part first and get it lined up in, in the right place. And then I'll glue these in one at a time, uh, make sure I got them where I want them. Well, of course, as I go, I'll be sanding and checking for fuzzies as I, as I put it together. But uh, then tomorrow I'll get those buttons in and I'll glue in there. And I'm kind of liking the way this is looking. Got just enough contrast in that wood. It's not a big contrast, contrast, but it's a little bit, and you can tell that it's a layered cross. I like the way it looks right now. Uh, I think it'll look even better when I get the uh, get the little buttons in there. And uh, I may just seal it like it is, not worry about painting it, and put a hanger on it and hang it on the wall. Anyway, let me get my glue together here, and I'll uh, start by gluing that framework right there on. And uh, then I'll work glue each piece. Okay, I got those little hole plugs in. Uh, I had to drill the holes out. Those were supposed to be 3 8 and I used a 3 8 brand new Brad Pitt 3 8 bit, and they just wouldn't fit in there. Just barely would not. It was small enough. Uh, the hole was a little too small. I had to go up to a, a 32nd larger to uh, get it to fit. So anyway, it, it does fit pretty nicely at 32nd. It's uh, it would almost stand there without the glue, but I'm afraid it would fall out as humidity and all changes. So I put a little bit of glue on them, tried to line the, the grain up. That one I didn't line up, but I don't know that it really matters, but I try to keep grains lined up. So now I'm going to let that glue set a little while. I'm going to put a hanger on it, and I put a finish on it, and it'll pretty soon be hanging in the hall of my house. I took some stuff down and gave it away the other day and made some room to put this up. So uh, let me let that glue set a little bit, and then we'll look at it when I get a finish on it. All right, so I got a little bit of a finish on it. I got the hanger on it, and I'm going to call that done. I kind of like it. I really like the way it looks. Uh, Would have been nice with that uh, stressed... Uh, 
stone look. Uh, if I didn't want to spend thirty dollars to do that. I might not use that on any other project. Um, so the thirty dollars would have been mostly a waste. But anyway, uh, it's got enough contrast that you can tell it's layered. It kind of stands out. Has some three D depth to it. Uh, I really like it. It's maybe the most, most elaborate cross I've made. I made some a lot of fretwork in them that was a little more difficult to cut, but this you know, I think is a really nice cross. I really like it. So I hope you like it. If you do, hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I'm, gonna, I'm kind of thinking about I'm going to do a, a pencil box. I'm going to try to design one myself with a flip top lid. Come up with some idea. I don't know if that's going to be the next one, but i am kind of got it working in my head. I had a request for that. Uh, and I may try to do that. Pen, it's one that you can, you know, gift a pen or a pen, pen and a pencil set or something like that. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to turn out to be, but I'm kind of mulling through that in my head. So hit the like button, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video.